Tonight! What is my purpose? You pass butter. Oh my god. We're flying! We're flying! And... Stop! He's already dead! everyone and welcome back to the drop zone. Anthony? Yes? Do you like my t-shirt? Yes, I love that t-shirt. The, the, the malice t-shirt? The malice t-shirt. Well, guess what? Yes. You can have one too. Really? Yes, <laughs> because we got a care package oh, from Malice. Yay. Look at our care package from Malice. You can't see my address. No, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> care package from Malice. So, so here you go. I opened this yesterday. Hence, hence the t-shirt. Right. There's uh, a malice t-shirt just for you. So, uh, to explain this uh, chicanery, uh, basically we, we were nice about Malice in the drop zone and they were like, oh my god, here's all our stuff. Yeah, they've given us everything. Yeah. Oh so my god, look at all this. Got some class little Malice stickers. Malice stickers. Oh, key rings. I love yeah. key rings. Big red is a key ring. Big red. Class. Uh, another key ring. I can slap someone in the I face with Big Red now, it's just like, bang! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you could always do that before, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, Thank didn't you, realize, I didn't realise when I just realised what I said. I am sorry for... You knocked one into a hand, <laughs> 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 Yeah, so uh, thank you, thank you Tim Ellis for, thank you, for, thank you for, for the sending pretties. out the niceness. Ah, um, oh. But enough of us rubbing in your face with our big reds. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't we, mean that. We should talk about BattleBots now. Please right? do! <laughs> oh, BattleBots! <Yay>. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> A bit, bit, bit scary, bit scary, bit Get scary. the spinny in. Yes! Oh, no! Lovely! So I like Claw Viper's tactic going into this fight. Yeah. Where they were talking about how, oh, we'll box rush them, we'll grab them with the claw, parade them around, they'll be ours. It'll be amazing, right? Uh, be fun if it happened. Didn't pan out that <laughs> way. You could see what they were doing yeah. whenever um, the start of the fight was called. We need a name for the start of the fight. Because Robot Wars we've activated. Well, this is just blah, blah, blah. From blank. Blank. Right? From blank. Blank. Right, so uh, whatever Blatt was called, and they, they box rushed toward them. Black Dragon's like, <laughs> not today. Get out of the way. Claw Viper then slam into the screws. Yeah. And I think that's what kind of discombobulated them a little bit. Yeah, Black Dragon came in, one mammoth head on the front, right on the, uh, the little wedge. That's... Oh, come on! Uh, that's so right, burn him, burn the life out of him. <laughs> But then the very interesting thing happened, where Black Dragon just couldn't seem to catch on the side of Claw Viper. No. And they were more kind of grinding them than there were See, anything they, else. They didn't have the disc that I thought they were going to go with. You know the one that the one they used for uh, Minotaur? Yeah, yeah. Like a big chunk one. This is more like two, like a two teeth one. Yeah. So is it, this it, similar to the one they used in the Kraken fight? I think so, but yeah. looks a bit, the teeth look a bit more shorter. I I mean, it can certainly do the damage. It did. We saw that, but it just it was very interesting that because to look at Claw Viper, you would go. That's a, that's a drum spinner's dream because it can just sit there and twat it up and twat it up and twat it up. I didn't get that chance. Uh, a little off top. not doing the catches. No. Doing the grindies. I think the, those wedges were the wrong configuration. Bits were falling off, but it didn't yeah, know which Yeah, you saw like off um, one of their, uh, their, their little weapon I pieces. I think it's the, the main like snake oh, head the claw itself. itself. Like the burn has come off the, the pipe, but it wasn't like... We don't know if that was from the hit that Black Dragon hit yeah. and, and flew up in the air and it loosened it. But, but we never even got a chance to find out because, I mean, the second it comes off, like, uh, Black Dragon were in control of this fight the whole oh, yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I particularly love the moment where after grinding against them for a little while and not really causing too much damage, they got enough of a hit to tilt Claw Viper sideways. And yeah. they, they just immediately saw that. Like, and I love that type of driving where, like, he immediately zeroed in on that and went, Okay, you're on your side, the wheels are off the ground, we can get in underneath you and ram you into the screws. Yeah, and it was perfect. Like, and I think because it went underneath it, the disc was hitting the base panel and it shocked something loose. Yeah. Because the claw was working fine, but the drive just stopped. And I was like, now I was hoping that Claw and Viper would win. Not anything bad with the Black Dragon team. I just, the, the speed of Claw Viper is like... Yeah, speed almost to a fault. 
Yeah, we've we've had that experience. Yes, we, yes, we have. We it's have. a bad time. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> oh, it's smoking. Oh, it's some fire. No, don't you burn it. It just seemed to die, and obviously the smoke of doom was pouring out of it. And oh, that moment, man, when you yeah, thought it's just clawing like, its way like perfect a claw viper. Yeah. I'll be back, and then it's it's like, like, no, no, you're not. Bang! Bang! <laughs> right into the corner. It's like yeah. you're done. You're done. <laughs> I'm still confused as to what what the fire was like. Was that I the think weapon it's burning a mix out? Of either the motors have burnt out or the weapon motor has burnt out because yeah. where the f- the plume of fire came out was right where the gear you know, on the weapon yeah yeah so I'm thinking that basically the motors gave out which was the first bit of smoke and then the, the next uh, that big massive hit that black dragon hit yeah that was just that was tidy man like I, I have to say I love that hit oh no oh, oh what oh, oh. go on go on yes oh, ah <laughs> Here's what I think you of your dreams. Right. <laughs> this is the first win now for Black Dragon. Yes, yes, so it that's... is because they lost the fight with Kraken, and I'm a very controversial. Just wow. to say so. um, but yeah, I, I really thought it was great to see them back on form again. Black Dragon is easily one of my favourite machines. The only thing concerned me about Black Dragon was the wedges, like the wedge configuration for this one. I agree. Because I think that is that played a big part in them not being able to make full use of their weapon. Yeah. Because if you see them like they're coming in to try and get that those big hits in can't. on the side of Claw Viper, but that wedge configuration is just stopping them. I think that's all they need to work on in this season. It's just like pick the, the you're doing good, but just pick the smaller <laughs> wedgelets. Yeah. Not not the big. The, the, Flapjack. The chunky boy. Chunky boys. Yeah. The, the pancake. The flippery thingies. The, the, the ones that stop the spinnies and the, and the death. But no, as I say, what do you call it? Like, brilliant fight. Brilliant start to the two. Uh, uh, cars of fights and bots and stuff. Next fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's back in form. Nice. That was a nice win. That was fair. Yeah, not, not, not a very confident win, but still a win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice tactic. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I I kind of feel like I was giving jackpot shit the last time I was talking about it in the Sub Zero fight. No, you were you Because I mean, like it just it wasn't catching. No, it wasn't Sub Zero, and I I put it down to the fact that their weapon is shaped like a diamond, you know, like on a playing card. Yeah. Because obviously Vegas, the whole um, gambling motif that they've got going on with the robot, and I went. Uh, the gimmick's kind of failing them here. I don't know if they've changed the design of the weapon for this fight. But they seem to have these little teeth on the end of the diamond shape of the spinner. Yeah. And holy god! Holy god! What a hit! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I got the lefter. I can lift, I can lift. A burly! Ghost Raptor. Mm-hmm. What was this? Lads. Lads, what was the strategy, lads? Lads, I mean, they offered up their ass. Because when you see when the fight starts, they turn and bugger off to the corner. See, I would think they were turned away to spin up their weapon up to full see, speed. I'm thinking maybe was the tactic. Reverse it, jackpot, stop the spinner, then turn round. Maybe. And come in with a hit. I'm thinking maybe that's been the tactic. But whatever the hell happened, like, they offered up their ass to jackpot. Jackpot took advantage of that sweet, sweet rear meat. <laughs> And just came in, bang, took them out there, and then they, they had no choice but to go weapon to weapon. And of course, a vert versus the horizontal, vert's going to come out on top, and immediately it just knocks it off it's, its own weapon assembly. Yeah, the whole family gone. Throw it away like I would throw a dog, for, uh, a stick for the dog, <laughs> or a dog for the stick. Both? <laughs> yeah, at the same time, into a river. But my god! <laughs> but yeah, man, it just comes flying off. I felt so sorry for Ghost Raptor because I'm, I'm rooting for them. I'm like, yeah. yeah, come on, come on. And even the nicest part about that is they have a backup weapon. They're not just a spinner. Yeah, and this is why I like Ghost Raptor. Hmm. Like, a lot of people can easily turn around and go, well, some crap performance this year. No. No. I like the design of this robot because they have the weapon that can hit it different. Tears. Yeah, they can, they can go from different uh, ones, yeah. Likewise, whenever this uh, weapon bar gets knocked off, you can see them trying to use the lifter to try and turn jackpot over. The problem was one of their forks had bent up, so it kind of yeah. left it useless before they even get a chance to do that. Yeah. Jackpot comes in and says hello to your, your side pod and blah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, the tripod! 
Oh, come on, no. Fucking hell. Okay, jackpot. All right. Didn't that even come from a Ghost Raptor attack? Because Ghost Raptor were trying to get in at the side of him. Jackpot turns, yeah, and then catches just that it. side pod, and just rips it away. Not only did it rip it away, it came in for another hit and destroyed the top of the mag motor, of the drive motor of that side of that weapon pod. Gone. Yeah. But I feel for that team that they have to re like repair that entire weapon or just scrap yeah. it. Yeah, well, they even pulled the motor they in pulled half. pulled the whole motor right, but the top yeah. of the mag motor, that's where the wires were. Yeah. It, it sheared that completely off. That is some mad Though I will respect Jackpot that they left it alone because they yeah. could have hot dogged it and went, ah, let's go and <laughs> rah, you know, but. You know, I love that, they could have hot dogged it. Hot just dogged it. Split it like a bun. Just <laughs> yeah, they could have done it. I was like, no, 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 you, you, did, you, you did the smoosh, no yeah. more smoosh. Because we have to you, repair you did, these things. You, you, you did just enough smoosh. See, I'm thinking every team goes, can we, can we be like, Ray? Yeah, can, can, we, can we go for all my hair? Yeah. <laughs> no, must, must, must not. <laughs> don't move, don't move. Stay, stay still, stay still. Uh, I'd let it go. No, well, don't, don't, shit. don't, don't, don't. Again, another very, very quick fight. Well, it is entertaining enough. No, it was really good. You know, like, yeah. um, I could appreciate what Ghost Raptor were trying to do. Uh, I feel so bad for the guy. I know you do too. I know. Um, but it's just, it's very unfortunate. But at the same time, I'm pleasantly surprised by Jackpot. Yeah. That was a Big really time. great, really impressive win. Yeah, and Fredo, sir. Fredo, yeah. Fredo, sir. Uh, two to nothing as well. Yeah, a rock, another rookie team. Yeah. This Brilliant. is class. This is like, because you know, you always. <laughs> oh, I do, I do, I do. It just goes to show that with battle bots, all bets are off. Oh, God. Next fight. I'm <laughs> disgusted oh. at myself. Bad, Stephen. Bad. bad. No. It's no. It's it's bad. Bad. It's bad. bad. Right, well, I'll Holy just shut my fucking mouth about Jackpot from now on. Hey. <laughs> yeah, even, yeah. Oh no, oh, don't tell me the drive's oh, dead. No, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, uh, I'll leave it. Uh, <laughs> in the south, right? I believe you. Nope. Uh, so, okay, I, I was saying in the last fight, I appreciate ingenuity and Grabot, the, their heads are certainly in the right place. Yes. Because I like the idea of someone coming in and trying something new. So, mm -hmm. so Grabot, it is technically a control bot. Yeah. And I like those arms, those independent moving arms. That was pretty we, cool. we saw Peter Abramson talk about them a little bit before the fight started. <sighs> they just seem a little bit weedy to me. From what the wee test f uh, video it showed you in grabbing a brick and lifting it. Yeah. And, uh, so it feels like it's wally. It's, it's like, okay, the, the technology is on point. Yeah. I like it. I just think it needs really big, proper claws. Maybe a bit more wider and, and the claws. Oh! <laughs> burn you, it! You fools! Don't fire! Do your job! You do the Bernie! Are you serious? Can they not self right? No. The arms can't lift it. It's a great idea, and I don't want to shit on anyone. No. Because no. I genuinely think this is a it, really good idea. It had, it had the flail. It's like the idea was. Be, I would have loved to see it just yeah. like spin the going, and murder yeah. it! Oh god! Back away! By Sub Zero! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it was, an, it was a really cool bit machine, like, it's just a shame we didn't get to see too much of it. It just seems to me that the first flip from Sub-Zero just did them in. The first flip did it when, they, when they're on their back, and I thought the arms could, like, like you know, like, way, like, tantrum. Yeah, like, come out and lift themselves back over but again. It yeah. just, that, and then they bounced around, and then what really killed them, which I'm definitely, I'm 100%, well, 95%, or maybe 50%, Where? that it was the pulverizer and... Um, Sub Zero yeah. that, that flipped at the same, uh, at both like basic wits coming down. He flips. It like, got best of both worlds, and then it's just so cumbersome. Yeah, and that's a big issue with it. Like when it goes upside down, and those arms are positioned in a certain way, it lifts its own wheels off the ground. So you have to sort of like slowly, and it's a little bit cumbersome to try and get those arms down so it can get uh, enough. Like for the, the grab. Yeah, for the wheels to go back on the floor again. Uh, and Sub Zero just exploited the hell out of that. Uh, Not only that, but oh, God, my poor boy. He's dead. Oh, no, oh, not far. Watch it, watch oh, it now. Oh, oh, oh. He got whacked twice in this poor like, little spit fire. It's going like, I'm yeah, going to help yeah. you. I, he was doing his job. He was burning it. And then he flipped 
<laughs> I <laughs> love him. that slow motion moment though, uh, like after the fight, whenever they're doing the replays, where you see Sub Zero throw and grab out up into the air. That then hits Spitfire. Spitfire tumbles to the ground, but then takes off like a rocket. That again. is impressive. That is and gorgeous. As a, as, a, yeah. as a drone operator, that is impressive. Yeah. Like that, that puts anyone to shame. Puts them to shame, yeah. Really does, but I mean, like, drones, drone, like, drones racing does help out a lot. But, I mean, man, like, obviously Sub-Zero, it's a machine you've been championing Love for it. years now. Love it. Um, I think, finally, at long last, we've I seen we it perform really, really well. I think just it was a little tiny little issue. With little hiccup. Little hiccup, yeah. but I think this is a keyed in. Yeah. This is like, a keyed uh, in. My one issue with it is, the first couple of flips are extraordinary. Yeah, the height that they were reaching with was just brilliant. Like you pointed out, broke the poly card. Yeah, the power point, like, in that. Whenever it threw grab out into the yeah. wall. Stop! Stop! It's already dead. It's already Jeez. dead. Yeah, throw, throw it out in front of the oh, judges. Oh. After those first couple of flips, and you even see it do the little chaos too thing, where it flips with nothing on the end of the ram and it turns itself oh, over. I was, I was freaking, man. I was having flashbacks. <laughs> I don't. But as the fight goes on, it just, it seems to just tire out and wear down a little bit and the flips just aren't that impressive. Yeah, I think it has limited CO2. Well, of course it's limited CO2, CO2, but I mean, like, they just seem to use up so much. I think their whole, their whole tactic flips. is basically get in as quick as possible and now to try to get in. Well, they certainly end. proved it with this fight. Yeah, and, oh my god. Like I love as well, like, whenever uh, Sub-Zero flipped itself over, it almost looks like it's got a little battery co like pack on the underside of it. Yeah. It looks like Duracell batteries. And I was like, are you preparing for the hex book, you cheeky I, little dick walk? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and based on the performance of this, I think their, their hex potential hex of getting a hex bug is going up and up and up. Mm. Yes. Welcome back to the Drop Zone, sponsored by Hexbug, because that's all we fucking talk about. God, um, I hope so. <laughs> great, isn't it? Hex bugs for all. Um, yeah, so next yeah, fact. Next fact. We next good fact. Over there. I'm annoyed, but I'm trying to hide it because we're all. <laughs> <coming in>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Little wee hands, like I got you. Jesus. I got you now. Oh, I got you now. I got you now. I got you now. I can't catch him. Well, here it is, folks. The BattleBots equivalent of the Tornado Anti Razor Cage. Yeah, got it, boys. <laughs> oh. Right. I don't want to hear any bullshit about no fucking rules. Right. I don't. Oh, it was fair that Hydra what? Fine. That's fine. Your fight was still shit. Yeah, it, it, that was that was a fucking abomination of a fight. It was it was horrible. It was awful. It was genuinely an affront to fucking the sport of robot fighting. It was so so dull. It was irritating, and I can't get over just how shitty this was. I can't. I meant to do the smooth, not the dry. Do, do a flip. <laughs> oh look at this bullshit. <laughs> That's fine. Within the rule set, you can modify your robot. Mm -hmm. That's grand. But uh, to put what is essentially a bike rack <laughs> onto the front of your robot, yeah, and then just go, oh, keep away, keep away. Oh, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Oh, I'm not touching you. But for the entire battle, it, it is childish. It is fucking pointless. And do you know what? You may have won the fight. The audience lost. Yeah. Because you deprived us of what could have been a really great battle. And you should feel bad about that. He won't. <laughs> and you should hang your head in shame, sir. He won't. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, like, I've seen this tactic before because on the live events in the UK, Ripper tried this with Gabriel. And I yeah. was expecting from this fight, oh, we're going to get that all over again. Where the cage will, he'll try to self right and can't self right again. Yeah. Or yeah. he's going to come in because it got a spinner and cut the arms off it. But, do you, but nothing. Do you know what I was expecting? Whenever I first saw that attachment on Hydra, I thought that was attached to the flipper. Yeah, you did say that. It, was, it made right, more sense. Or, or just something like that. Or do you know what I would have done? Right? I don't know if I have anything on hand. Right, Bronco, right? How ironic. <laughs> do you know what I would have done? Put a big steel bar on the end of the flipper arm. Okay. Straight up like that. Mm -hmm. So whenever the flipper goes up, you're hitting oh, you're the underside of your huge, right? Cutting. So imagine huge comes in for the attack like that, and you time your flip at the right time. Your bar goes upward, and that bashes into the top of huge and sends it skyward. That would be perfect. Because here's, here's the best thing, right? 
Hydra has one of the best flippers I have ever goddamn seen in my life. It is great. 100%. And I mean that. Like, it is just, it's so well engineered. The fact that they use hydraulics in tandem with pneumatics to make this thing yes, that it's. powerful is insane. We saw it earlier in this series alone with Witch Doctor. The height it was getting on it, it's extraordinary. Crazy, man. Absolutely you you crazy. deprived everyone of a chance to see what that could do to Huge. Because I'm telling you now, see if they'd have done that tactic where they put a big steel bar on the end of their flipping arm and flipped it underneath Huge. They could have broke it in half. Or stuck it in the corner of the arena again. We could yeah, have landed in the arena. That, that's genuinely what I was expecting. Mammoth has now become better than Huge, than uh, Hydra. Because of their win against Huge. Yeah. yeah that's fucking frustrating. Like well, he's, he's not breaking the rules. Like, he's not pinning them. But he's doing that thing children do. I'm not touching yeah. you. I'm not but I can't get past you. Yeah. Huge, you could see they were trying to come in for a side attack, try and eat away at that bar, try and break it down. Because that's what I was expecting. Like, oh, the, the, they'll make yeah, it crumble, crumble the bits. Away, yeah. And then Hydra will be forced to use the flipper. Okay, great tactic. But Hydra, yeah, okay, good driving. Mm -hmm. Managed to box in huge, and they kept knocking huge onto their side. And I went, oh, okay, so that's control points being taken away from huge, uh, aggression points being taken away from huge. And then came the moment where they they boxed huge into the corner. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you can pin a robot for what is it, ten seconds? Ten or so? seconds. You can pin a robot for ten seconds. That's great. And they backed off. But the trouble is, Hydra, your, your robot's three times as wide now. So Huge can't get past you and can't get away. So you've essentially penned them in. And you can have as many arguments with as many judges and as many referees as you like. That's what you were doing. Yeah. And it's, it's unfair, it's unsporting, and it just was not a good fight. And I don't care what you think about it. Well, he still get a wee oh, You can see the frustration in his eyes. On sports and the, the, ones on the, box. the blame lies squarely at Hydra's door for this. But he's loving and, it. Yeah, you, he's yeah loving it. you can love it all you like. That's yeah. great. Like, you won the fight. That's fine. I'm not taking that away from you. I'm just saying you won it in a real shit way. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, the, there's nothing else really you can say about it. It was just, you got your win. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> You know? Yeah. Just like, well done. You got your little you fucking it. token. Like, are you proud of yourself? I think really? He I think he is. That's such a he's, oh, he fight. is because he actually wants it. He says, after the fight, you can rent it. Oh, you can rent it. Yeah, you can. <laughs> like, may, oh, may have God. different results depending I on the I imagine driver. people in the pits were frothing at the mouth at him going. But, but fair enough, you got your win. But to what end? It was just a shit battle. What effect will the spinning blade of the front of Tornado have? Already on the attack, on Razor, and Razor! Oh, on the backward step, it seems! On the back foot, Razor, where are they? They've come and grappled Tornado's extended frame! Yeah, huge is an awkward machine and you have to adapt your robot, but there was better ways of doing it than that. More entertaining ways of doing it than that. Because Tornado slams and bangs! In comes Tornado again! Is this the end of an era? Is this the end of the Razor Reign as champions of the UK? But we finally have a Tornado now. <laughs> fucking big whoop. <laughs> Jesus, man. Like, I, I think I'm fucking done. Yeah, like, there's I'm not much more to say fight. about it. It was fucking lame. It was pathetic. Is really what it was. Bad form. Bad form. Yeah. That was crap. I'm just gonna come out and say it. That was a crap fight. I was all hyped as fuck for that and everything like that. The sparks are gonna fly and things. Fuck me. It's like watching two drunk people have a wrestling fight. They just like get get you in the court. Get you in the. Smash my bot. Runaways. Runaways. Yep. Get in the corner and hide. Yeah. Well, at least the younger brother knows how to uh, win a fight properly. Doesn't he just? He does. Um, yeah, like I was really, really impressed with Fusion in this fight. Then again, <laughs> it was the equivalent of a boxer fighting a piece of ham. Like, <laughs> wasn't it? Because I mean, like Aegis, Aegis I would have called it, but no, apparently it's pronounced Aegis. Aegis. Um, th this robot looks like it's walked out of the mid-2000s. 
Like yeah. th this looks uh, like it looks like a Pokemon. That's no, all I'm gonna say. No shame to them or anything no. like that, but uh, the fact that they're made out of formed Kevlar, the flipper when it did flip was so weedy. But the problem that I that they said before the fight is they had a oh, lot. Oh, I know they've had a lot of yeah. technical problems in the pits and that, but just the way it looked, the way it performed in this fight. It was like something out of the mid 2000s, early 2000s. Not sure what's going on. How you oh, uh, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. Advantage. These are both machines that we know have had a lot of technical issues in the pits and fair play. Mm -hmm. uh, Fusion, I mean, caught fire in its last battle with Mad Catter, yeah, for goodness sake. Everything. You know, um, and then even at the start of this fight, they were still having problems because you noticed like they were knocking against the floor. There was a tiny little fork in the, at the front of Fusion yeah, right. that was just getting about. We were about there, and it knocked it about, and it, it kind of knocked Where it. Where was it? About there. Was it, was it about, about there? Yeah, yeah about there. Yeah. Uh, all fixed. Yeah, uh, that's actually fixed it. But, like, they did that, and then they went around the corner again, got caught in the thing, it was annoying him, and then he just... I thought for a second, oh god, the weapons don't work. Oh god, it's going to be one of those fights where it's just going to be, you know, like, they're, they're going to push each other. But, full speed? Yeah. And... Oh. Here came the pain. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I loved this because whenever I first saw the designs and what they were planning on with Fusion, mm. I was like, okay, this looks badass because they've got the vertical drum and the horizontal yeah, Waiachi style the fidget spinner design. I went, I can't wait to see what they do with that weapon in tandem. And we got to see it, poor Aegis man, but we yeah. got to see what that could do in this fight because yeah, the, the drum spinner, can rip away but lift up. Fusion got in underneath, and as it was crashing down at the far side, in came that tail spinner. Uh, entire side panel gone, ripped off gone. completely. It was, like, it was like confetti. Yeah, it's like gone. And like, Again, oh. I, like, I just I think it's so ironic that Ribot got banned from using their arms and legs because it takes forever to clean up. Yeah, Kevlar ain't much better. No, because it just <laughs> shatters. Like I mean, it just. It, it atomizes. But it gets better. Oh, it gets better. Because he turns around and like, Aegis, Aegis, Aegis. 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 I'm going to call it E. I'm going to call it Aegis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they're, they're like that. They're like, please don't hit me. He's like, I'm going to hit you again. And he just like hits it with the, with the, the drum and up in the air yeah. and everything is just... Like, it's the tail coming in too and just cleaving parts of the... That was the final little moment. Well. It's like, I'll, I'll do a little more like oh god damn uh, it's just that see that, that's the thing that pisses me off the most too like and and this goes as far back as to when i was a little bean, little bean. uh watching robot wars back in the day like machines that are made out of kevlar and are all sexy and formed like that how the fuck do you repair that you don't like like you do don't. you have like a ton of spurs i think that they have a ton of spurs or they've got a lot yeah. of glue. Because I, like, I think glue. it was um, uh, Kenny that was saying, like, it, it's not cheap. No. To, to mix this, this, this stuff has to be and mold this stuff. To, yeah, yeah. Like, that, like that's so, going like, to like, like, how many of those spur, spurs would you even get? Like, and, and how do you even fix it? See, that's the thing. I think they'll have, like, spur... Well, the top part's sort of not damaged, so they can keep sort that. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> it's just a fridge. Yeah. But I think a lot of hot glue and duct tape. If they don't have Hot spurs. Hot glue Yeah, absolutely. That's my favourite thing. Yeah, polyfilla. <laughs> polyfilla. Yeah, just put them on a polyfilla. It'll be grand. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine in the class, But yeah. uh, not in this fight. No, definitely not. <laughs> right, no Kevlar for armour from now on. We've learned no, learned our mistakes. Just mushes it. Um, again, a, a bit of a non-entity of a battle, this one. Um, yeah, like Fusion way, way It's nice to see Fusion overpowered. actually work. Yeah, but way overpowered in terms of what it was fighting. Yeah, it's good no, job for the yeah. newbie team. Like, I, I like the spectacle of it. It was good, it was fun. But um, like we didn't get that real proper mashing yeah. full three minutes going to the judges, two boxers holding on to each other to stay upright. One sex sort of going, I'm falling, yeah, like the, I'm the, falling. This was, uh, I think you put it just perfectly whenever we were doing the reaction. This was a massacre. This was a massacre. This was a massacre. This, we watched massacre. <laughs> we did not call the police. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's oh, just a massacre. Shit. No more! No spinny! Oh Christ! Oh, 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 oh. God! Okay, tentative. Tentative. Oh, oh, tentative. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. What? I love Lockjaw. 
But yes. I also love Big Dill. Big Dill. And yes. I love his tactic. Very sneaky boy. I like, yeah, I like Very that too because uh, Lockjaw's biggest problem is the little shanking spiders at the front. <laughs> like little forks, yeah, yeah. little forks that come in, little waggly woes. They absolutely hate the kill saw slots. So if you notice at the start of this fight, after the blank, right? <laughs> the blank. <laughs> like, Big Dill goes into the corner and so you know, you're, on, you're wondering, you're looking on. at him and you're going, lad, what are you doing? what's the story here? What's, going on what's here? the crack, right? Go like this. So, Apparently, like what it seems like he was doing was hiding behind those kill saw slots. Yeah. So Lockjaw couldn't box rush him. No. Because if they do, they come straight over, and those little forks go ding right into yeah. the kill saws. And you know what? It's so hard to watch too because it's like you only stub your finger. Oh god! It, it yeah. looks like that, doesn't it? Whenever, your toe more. It's like yeah, like whenever, <sighs> um, whenever Lockjaw does that, and it's just ah. But at the same time, good tactic. Yeah. Didn't pan out for them, no. but I appreciate that. I liked it. I, I liked liked it. the little ideas like that and fair play to them. Um, but yeah, that didn't really last long. No, because after that, and I noticed a little thing, is when Lockjaw hit the side of Dill's wedge, it seems that the wedge was pulled down that made them lift up a bit because they were struggling. Yeah, they had real yeah, issues with traction. Like, yeah. I, I was surprised they didn't get fully counted out. He's broke one of the drive on it, look. It's going in circles. That said, Hudson, it gave Lockjaw just enough time to go for the drive belt on one side. Yeah. So it was like one hit. It's like yeah, it's kind and of, you just see the yeah, drive belt fly out the just, back of it. It just yeets itself out and you're like, oh my god. And then that moment where Lockjaw gets it again, I don't know if it was something to do with the floor. <laughs> it might have. You've been worn once a night by. <laughs> I just wished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's forks have done a whole. Done a bending. <laughs> They've done a bend. Oh, there's a drive chain out of the back of his arse, Oh, Jesus. That was it. You're like, okay, it's dead. Yeah. And then it's, it does exactly what Claw Viper did. I'm not done yet. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, you yeah. are. Fine. Fork is twanged. Yeah. The power of that, that disc on, on Octo, I couldn't get over that. It was just like really bent it completely out of shot. And that was it then, really. They couldn't use the weapon at that. Yeah. I mean, it's safe to say this was Donald Hudson's fight oh, from... Dude. Not necessarily from the beginning, no, because no. I don't want to disrespect Big Dill. But, yeah, Lockjaw pretty much dominated this. Because, like, at one point, like, yeah, like, we got that hit, and then the, the, you saw a little puff, a little puffy puff of yeah, smoke. Well, that, was, that, was, that, was a that was just a weapon belt. That, that, that was fine. Um, like, they even hit them with such force that they tossed themselves upside down. But what I love about Lockjaw is that they've got the ability to turn, turn the, the spinner the around way. the other way. Beautiful. And it's, it's nice to see a machine like that that is fully invertible. It's, he knows so everything. It, it performs the same way upside down as it does the right way up uh, even the forks yeah like still so scraping they're the ground not motored this time no they're not they're just hinged which, which is really bizarre which I think I don't know maybe maybe that was destroying the motors the last time we got them caught in the, the kill like, I can see the benefits of just having a hinged wedge that, as opposed to having a motorised one hmm. where you're just letting gravity do the work yeah where like if it flips over yeah it's still scraping the floor you can still get underneath and make uh, the spinner your primary weapon the first win of the whole season. Oh, no. Ah! Oh! Fuck you, you I was about to celebrate. Having said that, though, I did, I, I like the idea I of like, being I independently want, controlled. Yeah, I want that back. Unless like, he's... I want to know, is he... He hasn't put them on yet. Or is it just they're all hinged? No, I think that, like that, I think that's just the plan going forward. Stop doing the moving. Do the windies. Wait, what? Was it done? Claps? Okay. We're all good? Not happy? <laughs> this did a thing. But yeah, it's 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 a very straightforward fight. Yeah. Dove is tactic so Dill was very sneaky boy, but yeah. you know, smart. But smart. um yeah, Lockjaw showing why he's the veteran, why he's the boss. He will win. He will win. Lockjaw! Yeah Well fuck me. Like who saw that coming, you know? <laughs> Apart from fucking everyone, the fucking bullshit like I might as well not have went to the judges, just to kick the fuck out of them the entire fight went to the judges and like, who the fuck do you think is going to win? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> spinny, spinny, zoom, zoom. Oh, he's going! Got a crunch. No, don't nom your no, very no, bad. Your no! Ah, oh, he killed it! What's happened to Witch Doctor? <laughs> What's happened? Man, th this is the number two seed. This is the runner-up from last year. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Zero and two. Teeth. 
Man, Peace. go to the dentist. <laughs> Honestly, like, what a... Uh, shocking. I'm, yeah. I'm shocked and appalled. Oh, my. Said, yes, <laughs> Jeffrey, get the tea. We have discussions. But... Uh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, first hit. First the hit. first hit off comes the tooth. So many things happen. It's not only is the first hit that the tooth got ripped apart, but the stage of crack and sacrifice this mini but it's like, yeah, yeah time to feed the nummies. And you're boom. Poor little narwhal. Well, it was witch doctor. Wobble? Was it? I don't know what happened that quick. I just seen the death of Narwhal. So. That first big hit into the jaws of Kraken. Off comes one of Witch Doctor's teeth. So it's doing the, the gyro yeah, so hop the, the is again. Uh, Kraken loses its tail. That's fine. That's superficial. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, th those Kraken jaws are really proving themselves and the this year. the teeth didn't break this time. Teeth didn't break nope. this time either. Uh, <laughs> Witch Doctor's tooth certainly broke. Yes, yes. Um, they were all over Witch Doctor in this fight. I think they they were like, we're not letting this happen again. <laughs> we're making sure the judges see yeah. how aggressive we are. Witch Doctor's trying to fight back, but that drive of cracking combined with the jaws is so Crazy strong. Power. It's causing the rubber to burn on the back yeah. wheels. Like, and speaking of which, like Kraken even managed to get Witch Doctor into the screws. That's chewing up part of their wheel as well. Mm -hmm. I will now. Oh, he's cut the wheels off. Jesus. Love. Insane control. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Like, I, lo I love the fact that, that I w the first thing in my head was Witch Doctor has a bigger disc. And it's going to rip those teeth completely apart. Man, Things are going to fall apart. The second, I apologize for thinking the that. The second I saw the, the matchup for this and I went, that's a main event? Really? I can see now why this was a main event. Yeah. yeah. Kraken. Guys. Yeah. Guys. Beautiful. Guys. Alright, keep that baby. Even though we parties went off there, but guys. See, <laughs> <laughs> so you cocked yourself. I was kind of going, this is going to be. I was expecting this to be Endgame and Tombstone. One hit dead. Uh, See, I was thinking more it's going to be Black, it'd be Black Dragon and Kraken. Oh, controversial judges. Yeah, I thought it was going to no, be that. No, th there's a big difference, and I think it's clear to see that when you analyse this fight compared to the Black Dragon fight. Because mm -hmm. it was so, so even. Yeah. Whereas with this fight, this was Kraken's battle the whole way through. Yeah. Uh, they dominated Witch Doctor. See, the best part I love about uh, the, the Kraken uh, captain is he even explained what went wrong in that controversial fight, where basically his flamethrower... Done a goof. Yeah, it came back in. It came back yeah. in and did the no nos and literally destroyed the CO two pipe. Yes, because I've noticed they didn't really go for the flamethrower option. No, too much they, they in this tested battle. it. They're like, it's yeah. there, but we're not using it. Yeah. <laughs> see, judges, see, it, it's, it's, there, it's, it's doing a working. It's in the working with that. Um, apart from that, no. So this one is going to the judges. Kraken. Yeah. See if this doesn't Kraken's go. Kraken. Won this. Kraken's won this. Witch doctor, God love him. They tried. They did try. Um, but any hits that they were landing on Kraken was just pure awesome. superficial. Yeah, because like I know the top of that head's all HTP. Yeah, it's all decoration. Yeah, so that, you're not like actually the, damaging. Yeah, that, that's like the, I would class that as minor damage. Yeah. Because for me, major damage, I don't know, rules, mm -hmm. right? But for me, I class minor damage as something that's decorative being ripped yeah. off. If the tooth like, had if, came off. Yeah, like with Witch Doctor, that's major damage. Yeah. I don't care who the fuck caused that. Like that is major damage if you're upsetting a machine like this is weapon because like a machine like Witch Doctor, it's built around its weapon. Yeah. So whenever this malfunctions, you saw it for yourself. Like the drive is compromised, the controls compromised as a result, their ability to dish out damage is compromised. Yeah. Like I know the team captain was saying after the fight some long lines of like they've used a different type of metal. And it just yeah. shatters so easily now. Do you know what I'm, I'm scared? I'm scared to say this, but it's, it's starting to replicate what happened to Minotaur last season. It really is, isn't, isn't it? it scary? The yeah. fact is, like, like Minotaur, you think, oh, this robot's tried and tested. It's going to destroy things. Yeah, and just what? nothing but problems. So I'm thinking this. But season, I can't, That's why I like this sport because it is so unpredictable. Yeah. Like, because I mean, like, we're we've been fans of this for well over twenty years now. Be it Robot Wars, be it BattleBots, be it whatever. Like, even to this day, we're still looking at fight matchups going, why is that a main event? Yeah. And it's just shocking As us the, every single thank time. Thank you for that battle box. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, you, you did a very Keep good. us entertained. Yeah. But yeah, man, honestly, I think this is fantastic that, that Kraken just really showed that I'm here to win, I can control, I can just dish out as much as the spinners can do. Yeah. 
Christ above, I'm terrified. I'm really worried for Witch Doctor. I, as I'm saying, I'm thinking this is going to be the Minotaur season for them. Yeah, 100%. they might crawl. I'd say the next fight. That's their. They'll, they'll inch their way it. back up. Yeah, but you did say something that was kind of. I do agree with you. It's like they will get a Satan, but not. Like the, what they're expecting. Like I the think their seating will be prim- primarily based on their performance last season. Yeah. Like especially because if, if you only get three fights to prove yourself before the round of 32, Witch Doctor's tanking, man. Zero to two. Yeah. That's terrifying. That's mad. But as I say, what a, what a, what a final. Great game. fight. What a Great final. fight. Um, well done to Kraken and commiserations to the Doctor of Witches. Witches leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good one, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, good boy. Oh. Oh. Boogle Schmoofs, season five, episode five. 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 Yes, five. Um, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not crap. Uh, l- l- let me reiterate by saying it's terrible. <laughs> All right. Um, the, the, most of these fights seem to come down to one machine just being completely OP and dominating another one. Mm-hmm. Um, which is where it happens, but just just, just a little too often yeah. for me uh, in this in this episode. Uh, the only real fight that I could say was like a real proper standout ding dong <laughs> of a battle yes. uh, was the was the, the, the main event, the, yeah. the Kraken and Witch Doctor yeah. fight. Yeah, one machine dominating the other, but in a way that you wouldn't expect. No, definitely not. Like I wouldn't expect. Like I say, I, I, at the, looking at the two of them fighting, you think Witch Doctor? You would. You really would. But, but it surprised um, me. It surprised yeah, Kraken's come a long way, and, and absolutely fair play to Matt Spurk and everyone that's put that machine together and improved it because it's a beast of a machine this oh. year. And do you know what? They deserved this win. Yeah. After what was what what could be deemed a very controversial battle. With Black Dragon, um, I can see that, like he, he was frustrated, but he, he took it on the chin. Uh, he and back now, stronger. now he's one to one. Yeah. So fair play to him for that. But Witch Doctor Zero and Two, wow, madness. Minotaur, I'm seeing Minotaur vibes. Minotaur vibes, yeah. yeah. Um, the huge and Hydra fight. Yeah. I. That was a thing. <laughs> I would rank this as one of the worst fights of all time. Yeah. This was crap. I mean, yeah, like, Hydra got its win, but did it though? Did it though? It got its win by the team, but the fans are going to talk for this for Yeah, years. like, <laughs> I, I mean, it doesn't feel like an earned victory. And I'm all for robots modifying and changing their design to fight certain other machines. That's great. But is it going to be entertaining, or is it just going to be a little bitch fight? You know, you know? I, I would I'd go as far to say this is that... What if complete control got away with the net? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. This is what would happen. Because yeah. yeah, it's it's well within the rules. That's fine. But just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Like I mean, Hydra, you, you've got a really awesome weapon there. You do. You, you, do. you do. And and I'll praise them to the high heavens for creating a machine as as powerful as that. But don't puss out. Don't be a little bitch. <laughs> Don't do it, and don't sit there and rub it in the faces of everyone that you won. Yeah. It's poor form. Rent, it do, want, do you want to rent the bar? Not, it doesn't even make for good television, because I was, like, when I was watching it, I wasn't looking at him going like, oh, you're the heel. Yeah. You're like wrestling, you're like, oh, you're a yeah, bastard, yeah, yeah. and I, I have to hate you. I just went, ah. Oh. <laughs> you know, I wasn't entertained by it. I didn't think it was particularly clever. I didn't find it interesting in any way. Because all he did was sell a tape, a climbing frame to his robot, you know? Or in the words uh, of Huge, a bike frame. A bike frame, yeah. <laughs> like, that was crap. Like, like if you're going to modify your robot, it, it should definitely be in, in, in terms of modifying the weapon. Yeah. Like, Tornado back in Robot Wars sort of got away with it because they had that massive spinner on the front, the big spinning bar. And we had a pit. And there was a pet. pet. Yeah, so there was a big pet. But Tornado got away with it because they said that that frame around Tornado was there to support the weapon. Hydra just had a load of parts sellotape to it. Sure, we can even go as far to say it as Ghost Raptor got away with it with Ice Wave. Yeah. You know, where that, well, that, but that was that, that, was, that was tactical, yeah. That, that was. was great. They didn't, like, get Ice Wave with their little anti Ice Wave twanger 
and push it into the corner and leave it there. No, they didn't. No. You know, like this, this felt like, um, do you know, like the bully in school that puts you in a corner and goes, oh, no, you can't get away, you can't get away, you can't get away. Can't get away. Oh, I'm not touching you, but I'm not. Ah! Fuck <laughs> yeah, honestly. That was you should have just booted them <laughs> in the balls, you know. But it was. That it was, glass, I see it wasn't there. Oh, oh boy, what? Uh, um, but yeah, I really think Hydra should have done something with the flipper bar. I want to see a rematch. I want to see a rematch, but cut the shit. <laughs> really though, it's annoying. Yeah, no, it's no, no. It's so fucking no, no, annoying. No, 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 no cheating bar. Just cheating bar stirred. Ah, <laughs> 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 cheating like bar like But yeah, um, but no, yeah, it just it, it doesn't feel. It feels dirty, doesn't it? It feels like yeah, a yeah. dirty victory. Not the good. Dirty. Um, I know a lot of people in the pits like what they showed seemed to really yeah, disapprove of that. Beans. They were not happy. Um, and for once, for once, I can't see the other side of the coin on this. No, there's, there's... I really can't because like, I always like to play it as okay. Let's try and see it from the other side. Mm -hmm. See what that's coming from and try to get some form of understanding to this. For me, this is just this is a bitch out. Yeah. Th this is just a. Oh, okay, well, Huge is an awkward design. We've seen what they can do to Bronco. Um, let's sell a tape of climbing frame onto our robots so Huge can't get us. I don't know. And it, it, it goes against the, the morals of the sport. Yeah, I find, spirit, because spirit off at the it, it, This wasn't a battle. This was a game of keep away. Well, as much as the teams have said before, I'm not, kind of, I'm not starting things, I'm just saying. Can't, 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 can't. Oh, yeah. Is. Yeah, I, I get what the what the teams have said. Like you know, we're, this is battle bots. This isn't like you know, like like little tactical fights. Like the, you, you come but here, like, but, but no, but you come here to actually put on a really good show and beat yeah. the unholy hell out of the machines. Because honestly, like spectacle. Yeah, that's what it should be always. Like you should have that in the forefront of your mind. Yeah, and the other controversial fights we've seen so far throughout this season, I find to be spectacular. I've I've found a lot of intrigue in them. I, they've kept me invested throughout the entire fight. We've watched this Hydra um, huge fight a couple of times now, and it, I get so bored. Yeah. I get really, really bored by it. And I think this is something that should not be encouraged. I think this is a one-off. It better I, fucking I, be! <laughs> I genuinely think it's a one-off. But yeah, like that See, was... I, I saw people on uh, like various forums and stuff talking about this fight, and one, one person said, oh, well, would you rather have this, or would you rather have a robot that... Hits another robot and the two of them die after the first 30 seconds. But I take that. Yeah. I take that over this because at least it's 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 it's, it's a big spectacular moment. Mm -hmm. It's like Malice and Shatter uh, yeah, in the last really episode yeah. where boom, really big hit. Whoa, what happened? How do you recover for that for the next two minutes? Yeah. That's great. Whereas with this battle, it was just so boring. And that's something that fighting robots should never be as boring. No. But we've harped on about this crap enough, we're probably boring them yeah. by going on about this shit so much. I'm tired of it, I'm sick of it. Hydra, sort your fucking game out, lads. Yeah. There's no point in getting a win if you're going to win like that. That is just bullshit disguised as lies. He said it! I said the thing! He said the thing. But yeah, so for overall for this episode, uh, I'm going to go 6 out of 10. Yeah, 6 um, out of 10. I just, I think that the fights were interesting enough. But it's one OP robot dominating a robot that just isn't up to that level. Um, the jackpot fight against uh, Ghost Raptor, oh, Ghost I Raptor. loved that. I thought I that was really great. Because it showed that jackpot, who didn't impress me as well as I would have liked in their first battle with Sub-Zero, they came back really strong in this. Oh, yeah. And they showed what damage they could cause. So fair play to jackpot. I really enjoyed that fight. Um, but to me, there's nothing else that really stands out. No, as I say, the one that stands out most is the finale, like the very last one. Yeah, it's the main adapter. But no, but that's what I'm saying. I'm giving it a nice six out of ten. You're going six. I'm going a six out of ten. Six out of ten, then. Yeah. So six out of ten. <laughs> six out of ten. <laughs> For BattleBot season five, episode five. Good to be back. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, happy. Um, happy. Yeah. So the Bounty Hunters has started that's on, thing. on Discovery Plus. Yeah. So everyone, please go and get yourselves some nice Discovery Plus. It's nice. There's, and there's cheap. also other Doctor yeah, like in there. And BattleBot season okay. five will be on Discovery yes. Plus as well. Yeah. Uh, which is good too. That's nice, isn't it? Yes. Uh, as for us doing episode reviews of Bounty Hunters, well, we have seen the first episode 
Here's a brief clip of us reacting to it. Is that, uh, is that coming out of his arse? Yeah. yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we did, we did. But uh, as for doing drop zone episodes on Bounty Hunters, we'll do them when we can. Yeah. We'll do them when we can. Might do one before this season's over, might do one after the series is over, but expect them mostly when this series is over because these videos take a lot to make. Speaking of which, I have completely forgot to mention this, but we have a Patreon. Oh. So, uh, yeah, please do go to the link, uh, help us out. You'll get the unedited reactions of all the fights, uh, and that's nice, isn't it? Yes, it yeah, is. so please do support us on Patreon if you can. Just a buck, yeah. a dollar a month. Yeah. That'd be great. If you want to send us some stuff too, like the Miles team have, get in touch. We'll we'll, put it there. Yeah, we will. We'll put it on display. It'll be a good time. Right, um, so that's it. We're done. We're done. It's over. Thank you for watching. We will see you next week. Uh, Bye. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Go away. I'm not touching you. Go away. I'm not touching you. Get away. Get away. I'm not touching you.